Hi everyone. I would like to finish the discussion of what goes on when superglue reacts with cotton. The end product, which I call sucot, is chemically speaking the cellulose that is uh, the chemical name for cotton reacts with superglue in a way where the cellulose replaces the cyano portion of cyanoacrylate and you end up with what's apparently a copolymer by the name of cellulose acrylate and it's hard as a rock it's a totally different substance from simply the process of superglue holding cotton together in a tight uh, ball it's an absolute chemical reaction it gives off heat and forms a whole new product of cellulose acrylate it hardens very quickly and it can be used in any number of locations for a wide variety of purposes from repairing dentures to rust holes and car fenders to, to you name it. But it's a wonderful compound that is absolutely waterproof, rust proof, corrosion proof, and uh, I'd like to see more people benefiting from this specific chemical reaction, and uh, I'd like to see it put into many, many more applications. Now you see here that it hardens instantly if you use the right amounts of super glue and use it in the right proportion to the amount of cotton. If you use too much, it'll take a long time to harden. If you use too little, you end up with uh, at least part of it that'll be just loose, loose cotton instead of a nice hard cellulose acrylate compound. But here you see, as I'm doing it, with about the right amount, the right proportion, Oops. Okay, there's the right proportion, apparently. And I'm taking this Dremel, and just to show how hard this is, the Dremel bites into it, but just very, very slowly. So for a denture repair, it's really ideal for a repair that will last for years, not just a temporary. And for an extremely wide variety of other uses.